I'm so groovy. I got power. I'm so groovy. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a Chloe inspired look. I actually had seen this a while back and I thought it would be fun just to try it. Fun little summer look and it's still summer so we gotta just enjoy it while we can. But it's mainly just a burnt orange with a pop of blue on the bottom. <laughs> if you guys are interested in this look, please do continue to watch. Also, if you like it, give us some thumbs up for me and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys don't mean mug. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hey guys, let's get started. Okay, first of all, um, like I said, I got inspired by the Khloe Kardashian. I think it's really pretty. It's still kind of a summer look, spring color. I just wanted to try it out. And obviously something different as well from my norm of like the neutrals and the browns. So I thought, let's just jump out of the box a little bit. Who knows? So... Let's have some fun. I'm going to go into Tarte and I'm just going to take the color Peach on Earth. I'm going to use that as my transition color to kind of start out with. I want to go a little light before I start bringing in these orange colors. I'm just taking my um, Sigma E25, going into the Peach on Earth. I've already primed my eyes and I used my Too Faced, the 24 hour insurance. So I'm just going to kind of take this all over, use this as my transition color as well, just to get everything going. Now I'm going to go into my MAC. I think I'm going to mix two colors. So I'm going to take this one, which is called um, Brash, and I'm going into my Marc Jacobs as well. And I'm going to take this color, see what happens, and I'm going to use my little spritzer and make the brush wet. I'm mainly just focusing on my lid. I'm going to use a brush and I'll be blending it out as well so I just kind of want to take it from the inner to the outer as much as I can and I'll be blending it throughout the whole thing anyways. But I mainly just am trying to focus on the lid just make it that orange color. I am using more of the MAC to be honest because I, I like that darker color. We're blending it we're basically going to be going up above the crease as well so you're just going to want to keep going from the inner to the outer just building that so if you make it messy um your blending will fix it and you'll be fine and good to go a little confession too my first two videos because i was so nervous to do this and my husband was like just do it, you're gonna be good at it. Had a hard time getting in front of like the camera and wanting to talk or knowing what to say or what to do, so I was really nervous. My first two videos, I totally took a shot of vodka before I did them, so I guess it went somewhere because I've done a few more after that. I'm not an alcoholic, you guys. Chill, just chill. Next, I am going to go into my MAC palette. Up at Dawn, yes, up at Dawn. I'm just going to take a blending brush, a large blending brush. This one is the MAC blending brush. This is 224. I am just going to go all over the top of it and blend out. I'm just going inner to outer and blending out whatever I had gone above or whatnot with the other shadow that was by MAC. I'm going into that glow by Anastasia. I am just going to take a pencil brush. I'm taking the color Sunburst and I'm just going to go into my outer corners and just kind of slightly blend it out to here and just blend in that um, burnt orange as well. Just right onto the lid. Now for the blue, I'm going into Tarina Tarantino. This one is in Spark of Envy. Just a nice turquoise blue color. And I'm just going above, below, not above, whoops, below my lash line. And I'm just going to take this across. I'm making it a little bit thicker because in the photo it looks like hers is really thick. So. I am going to smudge it with some shadow as well. I 
I am going back into my Marc Jacobs. I'm just going into this blue right here. But this palette is the um, Siren palette. So, and with the same pencil brush that I used for the corners, the inner corners, and I'm just going to take this and um, take that lighter color and just go over everything and just smudge it out. Because I don't, you don't want a crazy stiff ass line. You want to be able to like blend your shit in, you know? I totally feel like this is a fun little 80s look. Super summery though. I'll take it any day. I don't know why we make that face when we do anything with our eyes. I'm just going to go back into that blending brush that I had used for the um, Up at Dawn, the MAC color. I don't think there's really anything on here. If there is, I'm just getting a light color. But I just want to blend that in just a little bit more, to be honest, and see if I can drag it and connect the bottom. Because I feel like it's a little harsh right now for my liking. And I'm just going to go back into the sun burst and just go over it a little bit in my inners. Alright, so next I am going to take my translucent powder. I'm going to do the Laura Mercier translucent and just to go over everything because I haven't even set my foundation, nothing. I figured I would just save that for you guys. Lucky, lucky. I'm going to do the Glow Fusion in Sunshine. I'm just going to go over where I had did my Anastasia and just kind of reach as well. I like this because it's more of a bronzer, like peachy as well, so I just want to go over that and keep it on that same flow. For blush, I'm using in the color Lovely, the Cupid's bow, tip of the nose, and my favorite, uh, an all-time bubbly. And that's Anastasia. And I, I list all of my products below too if you guys are ever interested if I forget to say something because I know on the last few of them I have mainly been doing voiceovers. So if you ever have any questions on any of that, like everything is listed below just in case I forget. Who knows, you know? And I did have somebody ask me um, where I mainly get my products. I usually go to Sephora or Ulta and obviously for the MAC products it's either at the MAC store or at Nordstrom's or online if it's been like the Kylie Cosmetics. I do want to do my cheekbones as well and I totally spaced that. I think I'm going to go into my MAC for this one. This one is called Shell. I'm just going to use my fingers and lightly just tab. Mascara today, I am going to use Estee Lauder. This one is in Sumptus Knockout. Oh my gosh, please correct me if I just said this wrong. I don't even dare say it anymore. So I'm just going to show you. There you go. And if I'm idiot, just, just go with it. I actually do want to set first. My Urban Decay. Oh. Just bathe yourself in that. Your makeup will just stay on for days. Just kidding, don't do that. Take your makeup off at night. I'm like literally bald right there. I have like two spursed eyelashes on the bottom. So I'm actually really pleased with how this came out, you guys. Like. I really freaking love it. I'm not gonna lie. And for people that know me, they know I usually don't do a full on like pop of blue on the bottom, so I've always liked this one. But this whole YouTube stuff and journey is excited because I'm actually venturing out and trying new things that I would probably never do. But I'm really pleased with this look and I actually love it. I feel like my pictures are what you guys see, and then when I do this, it doesn't do it justice, but I guess it kind of does because you're learning something or you already know it and you just want to watch it. I'm going into this brand anyways. 
and it reminds me of stripped down so yes I'm just kind of doing a full-blown like new lip today I don't know about you guys but this summer has my skin so dry my lips are chapped I don't know if it's this Utah weather And then I'm going into the Kylie Cosmetics. This one is in Kiki. You guys have probably seen it before. 